a couple of months ago, Silicon Dust added some premium channels to their uh, tuners. Now, right now, these are the over-the-air channels I receive with an antenna on my roof. Uh, they work very well. But the premium channels starts right here. Now, they deliver these channel streams in a format of H.264. Uh, like I say, this is about two months ago. They added these channels. I think there's 45 channels for $35 per month. Several EPSN, so you get almost all the uh, college football games. So these are what you get. Okay, now, the, uh, yeah, with H2, H.264 compression, uh, you get a good quality at a lower bit rate. So what that means is uh, you can stream it without uh, exceeding your data cap. So right now, over here, if you go over here, this particular one, I've, I've got a channel that's tuned to a... Um, uh, 56.1, that's an HD channel. This is an HD channel. If you notice, it's 13.5 megabits per second, and this one is 7.8 megabits, and that is the PBS channel, which you're looking at here. Um, now, if you go over here, uh, channel 7.1, again, that's an HD channel. That's almost 12 megabits per second. Now, this particular one, is tuning to one of the uh, football games that's coming in from the uh, here. Okay, now again, this is delivered. Okay, it's delivered via the uh, tuner, but it's coming through your uh, internet. So it's only got point less than one megabits per second, which is low. Uh, again, it's H2, H2.64 stream. So what they're doing now, they're going to convert these to an H.265 stream. So what I want to do is uh, uh, record one of these um, one of these streams in H.264, but I want to convert it to H.265 to see if I, it will play on my devices. So I want to know if my devices that I've hooked to my TVs can actually uh, use the H.264 codec, which is a compressed, which is more compressed than uh, H.264. So here it is, it says, what's the difference between 264 and 265? 265 is more advanced than the 264 in several ways. The main difference is that HEVC, that's what they call the 265, allows for further reduced file size and therefore reduced required bandwidth of your video streams. So what that means is, uh, like Comcast in my area, and I'm sure a lot of others too, they have a cap, a one terabyte cap in, specifically in my area of data per month. Now that equals to about 324 hours of uh, high streaming, uh, high definition video, which these would be, uh, fall into that category over the air. But since I'm using the um, the other one, uh, the H.264 stream, it's much lower so I would get more uh, uh, content. And you, if you used four hours of 4K or 33 hours of 4K, then that would equal the terabyte. Okay, now well, you have to remember now, they measure in uh, megabits megabits, million bits per second, not bytes. There's eight bits in a byte. So one terabyte equals 8,388,670 mega, megabits. So that's what you have to uh, concern yourself about. All right, so then people say, well, why would you want to uh, uh, um, compress to H.265 to test on your devices? You could just uh, download some samples. Okay, I did that. I downloaded these H.265 samples, played them on my hardware. Most of them play. But what I don't know for a fact, I want to use the one that's actually coming from 
um, silicon dust. So it's in H.264 format. So right now I'm converted to a H.265 format. And once I get it uh, converted, then I will take that H.265 and try to uh, test it on my different hardware devices. So that's what I'm going to do. And when I get done, I'll show you how that H.265 uh, codec conversion plays on my TVs using different hardware that I have. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, I finally got a couple of them converted. Now this one here, this is original that I recorded. And this came from over-the-air antenna, so it's uncompressed. Let's look at the media info on that. Now when it comes in over the air, it comes in a TS, Transport Stream, uh, package. And it is a MPEG-2, right here. It's an MPEG-2 source. Uh, MPEG-TS, 6.12 gigabits. It's a two hour long video. There's the video stream uh, recorded at 1920 by 1080 and 169 at 29.970 frames per second. Okay, now that's the original one. Now I took this one, that's right here, I took that one and um, I converted it. All right, now the only thing I did, I didn't do any uh, get rid of the um, ads or anything like that. It's just a straight conversion. So this one I converted to an HEVC. And again, it's the same thing, 1920 by 7, uh, 1080, 1680, 29.97 frames per second. It's HEV. In other words, it's H.265. So it's HEVC. And there's the first audio and the text stream. So that's one that's converted. Okay, I will first thing I'll be uh, displaying that on my different boxes. Now I'm going to be testing on the uh, uh, Transmart Aura. Now that's a Win Windows 10 micro PC and it's running an Intel Atom X5Z8300. So that's an Intel Atom. I'll also be testing on various M M Logic boxes. So I'll see how they work. Okay, so that's that one converted to a 1080p. Now also, I converted this one to a very low resolution. I want to see how that looks on my uh, TV. Okay, now this one again, it's an MPEG-4 HEVC, but it's a 720 by 404 which is a very, like a DVD quality. So it's a very low resolution. So I converted to that to see how it would look on my different TVs. So that's what I did there. Now you can see the uh, sizes. Okay, the, the original uncompressed come in from the antenna on the roof comes in at six gigabit, six and a half gigabit. Now when I converted it to a HEVC, it didn't drop it by much because all I did was convert it. I didn't do anything else to it except convert it. Uh, same 1080p. Now this one, if you notice, uh, it's only less than one gigabyte because I converted to a very low resolution. So I will be checking that one and that one to see how they look on my TV. So that's what I'm going to do. And right now I'm going to go to the different TVs using different uh, hardware connected to TVs and see how it looks. Now this first test is going to be on my Jetstream uh, Google certified Android TVOS box. So that will be my first test that I'm going to show you right now. Okay, I'm testing these files using the MB Media Player because it's got these stats for nerds. Now if you notice, it says playback information. It gives you its direct play. It's an MP4, uh, 1920 by 7, 1078, whatever. It's HVEC. So anyway, it's playing very well on this Android box. So, but again, this is the uh, high resolution conversion. So I'll go ahead and test, check out some other uh, TVs. Okay, now this one, I'm testing on the uh, another TV using the original Xiaomi Mi Box. Again, it's using this one as a XO player, but it's a direct play method. 
Uh, again, that's the 1920 by 1078 uh, file, HVEC file. So there again, it's playing very well. So that hardware uh, transcodes the uh, H.265 hardware-wise. So, all right, that one's working well. Okay, now this is running on my Tronsmart RX5. That's the Intel uh, Atom CPU on this. Again, it's uh, playing very well on this inexpensive device. Now, I don't know if it's hardware decoded or software decoded, so I'm not sure on that. But uh, again, it's um, direct play, so there's no transcoding involved on the server part. Don't know about the hardware on the device. So anyway, that's the information on that. Seems to be playing pretty good. It might be a little bit jerky. So, yes, it does appear to be a little bit jerky. So, apparently, this is being software decoded by this uh, Windows 10 Micro PC. Okay, I don't know how well you can see it, but this is the uh, little Micro PC, Micro Computer, Transmart Aura. Uh, so, that's what I'm testing on there. So, using the MB uh, Theater. It does appear like it's jerky. So I would say this one is not going to play very well with the H.265 uh, format. Okay, now this one uh, is running on my uh, Vorky V2, which is a little bit more powerful. Uh, Windows Micro PC. But again, uh, it's direct playing, and it's playing the HEVC codec. Uh, it appears to be smoother, but there might be a little bit of jerkiness in it. So I don't know how to verify if the uh, uh, Windows box is decoding it. Hardware decoding or software decoding it. I don't know how to check that. So I'm not sure. The only thing I can do is look at it visually, and it does appear like it's jerking. So I will have to say no, it does not play very well on this device. Okay, this is the Vorky V2 Micro PC, Windows PC that I was referring to on this one. So uh, that's what the Vorky looks like. Okay, this one is playing on the MB client running on my Zdu X9S, and I believe this has a Realtek SOC. I'm not sure which exact one it is off my top of my head, but again, it's direct playing. It appears to be fairly smooth. So. I guess I would say this one works okay, but I hate this box. It was an expensive box, but I never use it. So anyway, that one works on that one. And here is the Zidu, what it looks like. It's got a clock on it. Awesome. Uh, again, it's got a uh, port for hard drive. It's actually got a power switch on the back of it. There is a need for the human being. But anyway, that was an expensive box that I never use. Okay, now this is the very low resolution, and again, it's 720 by 440 DV quality, and actually the quality is very good since it's a very low uh, uh, resolution. So that's what it looks like. So I would say even at the low resolution, and I'm not sure what the uh, uh, bit rate is that they're going to be supplying us from HD Home Run, uh, Silicon Dust, but uh, anyway, this is a very low uh, bit rate. So anyway, it looks pretty doggone good. So I think uh, the HV, HVEC that Silicon Dust is going to give us will work very well on these boxes.